Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and uh, we are getting ready to go finish working on this animal farm. Uh, if you remember Friday, I got the sheep farm done. I made a couple minor adjustments to get the decoration started. Uh, the interior is going to be this little wooden panel deal. And, uh, aw, oh, look at them. There we go. And, <laughs> so I know who's which. I put the colored wool above them instead of the uh, block that I had before. So far, this seems to be working really well. I have not actually checked on stock. Alright, that's not bad. That, that's actually not that bad. Uh, because I cleared a bunch of this out and brought it over to storage. And I'll probably do that again before too, too long. Um... <clears throat> Let me run around and make a quick tour of these guys. See uh, what we got left over. And I, I've got enough cows over there to get started here. And same with the pigs. I've got the eight cows and the eight pigs that I need for the animal farm achievement, I, I do need to move the chickens too. I kind of forgot about those when I got the title squared away, but um, that's that's not exactly rocket surgery to get chickens moved over. Um, <clears throat> and let's see what we got for sand. Eh. Thirty-two sand, which sounds like a lot <laughs> until you realize that's only eight sandstone. <sighs> All right, let's uh, let's get all this put away, and then we'll go from there. I'm going to try and put together a farm design similar to what I did in season zero. Um, it's been that long since I put it together and I forgot to pull up the reference diagrams earlier. So, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Actually, actually, actually. I, I think I've still got a, a Season Zero test test world downloaded and ready to go. And I might do that. And I'm running in the wrong direction. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Let's, uh... Do I want to do that first? I'm, I think I do want to do... Also... I'm going to try to move this over at the end. But I think I'm going to have to extend this platform out one more to make it fit right. And then I'll, because, yeah, that's a three watt. Well, no. Or I could cut this down by one. Let me, let me figure out the, the size farm for those guys. I think what I might do is I, I might log off the server, go to the local test world that I got squared away, and then come back and check on that. Um, <clears throat> so, while I'm doing that... Hello, Arcadius. Hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> Remind me to tell you about those last two guitars later. First and foremost, um, since, since I, I teased you about it earlier, um, mm -hmm. Tom Merritt, uh, host of Daily Tech News Show and co-host of Chord Killers, uh, on the, the After Talk feed, which is... Uh, Oh no. Where did I log off in this world? Uh, <laughs> How'd, oh, oh, that's right. That's right. We put all our heads on the villagers. Okay. 
I was about to go, how, how, how is Reyest on here walking around? <laughs> yeah, that's that's not happening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me. Uh... All right, don't mind me while I try the slow walk back, and I try to figure out where. Okay, there's the temple I started to take over. So the base should be this way. So laggy. <laughs> Anyway, so Tom's wife works for Rotten Tomatoes, and that means that she gets uh, screeners from time to time. And on After Talk, the, the show that they do after the main Cory Killer show, um, Tom mentioned that the NDA for the the live action Cowboy Bebop uh, stuff expired, so he doesn't have to uh, he doesn't have to be quiet about oh, he doesn't have to be quiet about it. Okay. Uh, he seems to really enjoy the live action Cowboy Bebop. Like, has he watched the original? Yes, he has watched the original. Okay. okay. Hmm. So, he really enjoyed it. Although, he also cautioned that if you... If you are the sort of person who, in your heart of hearts, no other show could ever possibly compare, then just don't watch. <laughs> no, I'm going to have to watch it. That's, that's Because there, 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 there were a bunch of people that were kind of like, you know, oh, nothing they ever do will ever be good enough. Uh <laughs> And he's like, yeah, if if that's you, then uh, just, you know, don't don't bother. All right. I think I can manage this. There we go. It helps if I <laughs> I use that button so so infrequently. I can't uh can't always remember where it is. So anyway, yeah. So he his basic deal was uh, most people will absolutely enjoy it. Uh, people knew the franchise will enjoy it and may even go back and watch the anime because of it. Uh, people who love seeing new expressions of their favorite anime will enjoy it. Uh, people who just, in their heart of hearts, cannot find a reason for any other variation to exist uh, need not apply. <laughs> so he, he kind of likened it to uh, to um, you know the song "Come Together" and how if you really like Aerosmith or you really like music. Or you just like seeing uh, new expressions of your favorite thing, then you liked it. But if nobody could ever possibly in any way, shape, or form imaginable ever come close to doing justice to come together. You know, that die-hard Beatles purist that no cover is good enough, then you will not enjoy it. That that kind of was the analogy that he ended up setting. Okay. Well, I'm not a die-hard, so <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> now, if this was some sort of Thrawn movie, then, then we'd have to... <laughs> Well, a conversation it, 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 on our hands. <laughs> that 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 was some of the other stuff too. Um, they Disney apparently uh, went absolutely 
bonkers with their announcements. Like, they just had tons of announcements. And, um... To the point that Tom's like, you know what? We're not even going to try to cover all the announcements. You did it to yourself, Disney. Uh, and, and just was... <laughs> I'm going to read you the one sentence summary. Give it a Disney plus or a Disney minus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and the one, the one that absolutely had me rolling. Uh, <laughs> Tom reads off the Boba Fett origin story that they're going to do before the book of Boba Fett. And Brian immediately goes, Hard Disney Minus. <laughs> Boba Fett was a chump who got shot in the back by a blind guy and died in a Sarlacc pit. Until he conveniently didn't. <laughs> I can't, can't even be mad about that. <laughs> I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> I mean, I want to point to the part where you're wrong, but I can't really point to the part where you're wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, I could make an <laughs> argument about it. I, I could go into how he was force assisted, how it's later found out much fucking later in the book. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this is, this is, <laughs> this is a, Tinder topic to me. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. oh. Anyway, moving on. Um, we'll just edit that in post. <laughs> Except for the part where we're live. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, anyway. I'm just going to pass that on. You know, Nothing happened. Nothing to see. Anyway. Um, so. You, you could argue that he was shot by a gentleman who arguably has force powers that was never trained because well let's face it han solo is anything but compliant let's, let's put it that way uh, um I, i'm just trying to figure out when han uh was rumored to have force powers that's going to be in the series uh and, uh, and really must June. must everybody have Force sensitivity? Can we not have some regular guys that just happen to get roll up in among this? Like, like yeah, you can. By Jan Tilly's, um, <laughs> pretty much all the great pilots from you know. I, I was thinking of a major character. Like, must every solo also okay be force okay. sensitive? Hold, hold on, hold on. Are, are we talking major characters per movie, or are we talking just major characters? Uh, I was thinking just major characters, but... Well, Wedge Antilles is a major character. He's the leader of not only Rogue Squadron, but Wraith Squadron. He oh. had a hand in both Death Stars, which means his silhouettes on his fighters are amazing. Oh. Also, <laughs> this is the same gentleman who, while leading Wraith Squadron, got to put half a silhouette of a Super Star Destroyer on his nose for the rest of his life because he helped take out... Asani Isard, which is a major villain. Um, it, it, is is this in the books that are no longer canon? Or uh... look, see, we're not talking about <laughs> the mouse right now. We do not talk about the mouse. The mouse is. <laughs> we're gonna have to say that for the for the post credit, you know, stuff. The the coffee craft dark roaster after dark or whatever it's called, because you're gonna get me upset and we're gonna start hearing other words and we don't want to do that right now. Because we're supposed to be family friendly, and right now the mouse is not family friendly. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, um, oh. so major characters. There are a ton of them that aren't force sensitive. Um, just the movies don't do a wonderful job at showing that because if a movie can only focus on so many people at once, like everyone else in that movie, any of them. Other than the ones that you're seeing on screen, you know, mm -hmm. 20,000 times, aren't force sensitive, except for maybe in like 
the prequels where they're inside the academy in which case yeah pretty much all of them are going to be force sensitive let's let's you know call a spade a spade <laughs> um so yeah you you do have that separation but you also have to think of what the force is the force is something that you know goes through everyone is you know blah 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 yeah well it surrounds much us as it I binds like us to, yeah, exactly. As much as I don't want to agree with you, Reyes, <laughs> I'm going to have to disagree with you. Without the prequels, we don't have, you know, a connecting storyline. Now, the movies... We also don't have midi chlorians without the prequels. Well, we don't talk about that part, because that part shouldn't exist. Again, I'm going to go to the movies didn't do it justice, but the prequels did happen, just not on screen. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why he did this to himself, Rast. I think he just wants someone else to talk for his own screen for a while. I think he's got like a sore throat or something. He just wanted someone else to rant for about an hour or two. <laughs> anyway, so yes, there. To answer your question, there are a ton of characters that are main characters that have significant role play or have significant uh, power within the universe that are not force sensitive. Okay. So, and if you want something that is more in line with that kind of thinking, I highly suggest the X-Wing series. Yes, for the first book, you do have Luke Skywalker because he was the original leader of, you know, Rogue Squadron. And then you have him leave. And uh, the person that takes over is Wedge Antilles. And Wedge Antilles... <laughs> rules the roost with no force powers in amongst his uh, squadron up until you get to Wraith Squadron, which is book five, where he has a gentleman who washed out of the Jedi Academy. Uh, at least his father did. And he has his father's medallion. So it is speculated. It's never outright said that he is force sensitive. Um, not until like the very next book. But he is uncannily good at sniping people. <laughs> and that's what Race Squadron's all about. Because Wedge Antilles... Well, yes. Yes and no. Wraith Squadron was born from Wedge Antilles uh, fighting with the upper echelon about being raised to the next promotion level, which would be general. And that would take him out of the, you know, cockpit. And he doesn't want to do that. I, I think so, I've seen this movie before. Exactly. So he comes I don't, up I don't with want a to different retire. idea. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So he comes up with a different idea and he creates Wraith Squadron uh, with a group of the worst pilot candidates he can ever find except for his XO. <laughs> and he has to prove that they're worth their salt or he has to take the promotion. So it's kind of funny the scene he has with the. Uh, Admiral Akbar at that point because he's like well, this sounds like I win either way and Admiral Akbar's like no we, we both know you don't want to stop flying don't don't even kid yourself <laughs> so yeah I highly recommend the X-Wing series it's a wonderful uh, set of books yeah I I would definitely recommend going through the rest of the Cord Killers episode as well uh, because they, they go through all all the Disney announcements. Um, and it's interesting to see who is and is not excited about what. Because, um, yeah, not all of them are... <laughs> not all of them are well-received. Well, I'm tired of the cookie cutter. Can you give me an original story, like a, a good original story? Um, or that 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 may have been a a point of contention for part of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, is, especially especially the fact that a lot of the Marvel stuff doesn't seem to be quite up to its um usual standards. Although well, there there not. there was a lot of excitement about the the new She-Hulk TV series that's going to be going or movie. I can't remember which it is. Um, but that also has a lot to do with the fact that, that the 
actress involved is worth like it is really a good fit for the role uh, I, just, I don't know I, if they're going to continue to make these movies and they're going to continue to play in this universe you're going to have to suck it up. You're going to have to reboot the entire thing. You're, you're not going to well, be able to get away with doing the B-string movies forever. It, it depends on how they end up handling a lot of the, the multiverse type stuff. Um, it really depends a lot on how they manage that. So the, this could this could end up okay. Uh, it could not. Like Shang Chi uh, was apparently a fairly middling movie. Like like uh, I forgot more logs. Um, <clears throat> like some people really some people liked it. Some people didn't. But even among the people who liked it and didn't like it, there weren't exactly you know strong opinions. Which I take to be a bad sign, you know. Exactly. Like I, I I'm kind of worried that the people who didn't like it are just kind of like, eh, you know. I mean, I mean that's the whole thing. It was a movie. You need to, you need it, emotion. If you didn't draw emotion from someone, it, it, was, that's it, was, not a, good. it was a movie. You know, that's, movies that's happen. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not how that works. Uh, you, the the Eternals. I was kind of surprised. Like the the critical drinkers take and Tom's take were very different. Um, so I I don't know if it's going to be one that I'm going to want to watch when whenever it actually hits. Uh, for people that don't have any kind of plusative plusified access, um. Oh, that's what I forget. Oh, no. I, I need to... All right. Yeah, sorry. Short-term memory or something. Really. Uh, so, yeah. And, and just Disney's throwing a bunch of stuff at the wall. There's a ton of stuff that, that's... Uh, they're reboots. Like, it, it's... Hey, we, we saw that we haven't used this IP in a while. Uh, let's dust it off for another go. Uh, <laughs> what? Mm, you know, oh. like, like, mm. what are they dusting off? I mean, I I don't they, remember because because again, everything out except for Steamboat Willie. I look, mean. look, look! Tom literally got through a bunch of headlines. I wasn't counting, and he says, "Don't worry, we only have twenty more." Oh my gosh! So. Take that for what you will. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, words. Anyway. Yep. So I that that's kind of that's kind of where that's at. And kind of sad. That's what that is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because again, that emotion. I mean, if it didn't move you to either like or dislike it, what what is that old saying that indifference is like the worst thing in the world? <laughs> uh, or some such. I don't know. I couldn't be bothered to look up the quote. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> so that's the point, though. Is yeah, you're, yeah. You're trying to make all these movies with basically the same storyboard, like fill in the blank storyboard lines and all that, and it's it's getting old. It, it really is. At least for me, I I need something a little more. Like I could have probably told you. The storyline of what was going to happen in Endgame before I saw it, <laughs> basically because every single Marvel movie before mm -hmm. that had the exact same scenario 
set up everything. It, you have a dramatic opening. You have a tragic issue. You have a minor combat scene. You have build up. Then you have the major conflict, and then you have resolution. That is that is every single one of their movies in the past ten years. Every single one of them. Go look it up. <laughs> Go watch. Yeah. Them. Uh, <laughs> and I'm trying to remember some of the other ones. Like one one of the other ones that they were. Um, one of the. So She Hulk was one of the properties that they're going to put together a movie about that everybody seemed kind of excited about. Because uh, much like uh, before Deadpool made it popular, it was breaking the third wall kind of stuff. Um, like like the, the really fun kind of breaking the third wall type deal. Yeah, that does need to be a full block. Okay. Um... Reminds me of that scene in Deadpool where he's like, did I just break the fourth wall in a fourth wall? A fourth wall That's break like in a fourth wall break? That's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's where the Observer would have been. No. Yes. No. Oh. There's also a um, Miss Marvel property that they're bringing up that is somehow related to Captain Marvel? Question mark. I don't know enough about that particular uh, uh, comic book to tell you. Well, the, was it just a reboot or? The 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 more pertinent part is that it's related to the Captain Marvel movie that, uh, well, or let, let's just say it wasn't... Uh, well, the fact that I don't even know that there was a Captain Marvel... Oh, wait, no, 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 never mind. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. Never mind. Never mind. I know which one we're talking about here. Uh, yeah, that... Mm-hmm. We don't have to talk about it, do we? No, we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, that should also tell people, you know, if we're if we're like, do, do we do we have to do we have to talk about it? Like, I don't want to talk about it. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I need my therapist on here. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, anyway. But it was kind of nice to hear that it wasn't just me that was very, very kind of nonplussed by the way Captain Marvel, the Captain Marvel movie went. Um, it just wasn't handled well. I mean. Uh, that too. That too. Uh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, I'm trying to be nice here. I'm trying to be nice here. <laughs> I think Green Lantern did a better job. <laughs> the old one. Uh, yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> At least I didn't say it was as bad as, like, the old Fantastic Four. I mean, that's... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not building this exactly the way I did before because I remember I had some really weird issues with the timing on the lava dispenser and I'm just not playing those games. I get a sort of looting adjacent. That's good enough. <laughs> All right. Uh... Okay. So that part's done. Now I just need to get the cows from there to there. Or do I want to put the pigs first? Which is first? Pork or beef? Um, 
depends on how you want to organize it. Pork lasts longer than beef if you've taken care of it properly. Uh, it's going into a cookbox. Oh, I don't know then. <laughs> All right, let me let me let me get the pigs then. You can uh, salt a pork and it'll sit around on a shelf for like years. This little piggy went to the market. Oh, I need uh, I need some blocks to lead them with. <laughs> And actually, I may do that too. I may just use actual leads for that too. Alright, some temporary blocks. My lone remaining lead. No, I, I I have the stuff to make more leads. I'll make some more. <laughs> oh no, I might run out of slime. Uh, there you are. I won't even run out of string at this point because I got the <laughs> the wool farm going. For some reason. Oh, and a cobble slab. Or two. talk started taking over um <laughs> because the guest suggested to a everybody started talking about how awesome Amos's beard has been and he mentioned that it's because uh he is the one who braids his daughter's hair all the time and she thought you know, it would be kind of nice if she could braid his beard. Because he doesn't have any other hair to braid. Um, <laughs> so he is now in the process of growing out a beard thick enough for his daughter to braid. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. Um, and so the guest goes, y you should put glitter in your beard. And that's when the glitter talk took over. And as somebody who's had to vacuum glitter out of a great many instrument cases, uh, I may have some very, very strong opinions about glitter. And I definitely, definitely agree with Amos's statement about how, you know, if there's somebody you really don't like, one of the best things you can do is give their kids a super glittery toy. Also made me think of somebody. I, I don't know who. Hey, Ray S. Can, can you think of who that would have reminded me of? No. All quiet. <laughs> Must not remember. So yeah, that that was that was a fun part of the show too, uh, but that that ended up in the uh, in the after show kind of stuff. Um, well, have you started reading the Wheel of Time yet? No. 
missing out, man. Keep missing out. Yeah, it's it's on my it's on my list, my eventual list. I got so many things on my list right now. <laughs> Actually, that bit was unnecessary. Sorry, I, I, I just started, uh, I, got, I got a little tunnel vision on the focus for moving these guys. <laughs> it happens. It uh, happens. Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm still short. <laughs> oh, I mean, you know, genetics and all that. Really? Really? Well, it's not my fault you're short. Talk to your parents. That's what I'm saying. Clean up. Where yep. is everybody tonight? This chat's like empty. Yeah, we got five people watching. We just got nobody chatting. I know. Although, hello. <laughs> they're, 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 <laughs> you, you you want something that'll get people started? Um, <laughs> I'll say, did I scare them off with the Star Wars rant? I mean, yeah. nah. <laughs> Tom mentioned that his dog turned thirteen. And he was kind of sad, though, because normally for his dog's birthday, he takes Sawyer to the dog bakery. Which okay. I did not know was even a thing. Yeah, they have them. Yep. So apparently it's all confectionery, you know, delights for dogs. Mm-hmm. Yep. I forget where we went that had one. It was, uh... I forget the oh! name, too. Yep, that, too. Oh, come on. We ended up getting Jibba some, uh... bones, but... Don't... Don't make me hurt you. Get in the hole. Push him in. Come on. <sighs> I am now all sorts of stuck. <laughs> Choose a rocket with your Elytra. You're fine. Look, audience. Oh, come on. Oh, this isn't going to fall right, is it? Okay, there we go. Come on there, buddy. Go on. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. There we go. Uh, I can never remember which one of these... Which one... Which, one of these numbers on this beautiful debug screen is the one that tells you how many entities are in the spot that you're looking at. Oh, there it is. Okay. Maybe. 
I'll, I'll, I'll pretend like that is definitely right. Gotta be careful. I wouldn't want to lose any of this. Anyway, so they, they got to talking about the dog bakery and asked if Sarah had ever brought Otis to the dog bakery. And she goes, um... <laughs> You don't want to give Otis treats like that. Let's just say it's a bad day for everybody. That too reminded us some, me of somebody. Would you know who that would be, Jabba? He feels like he's being called out right now. Uh, that might be because he's being called out right now. Down for the shenanigans, and then somebody else, all, somebody else was like, "Well, surely you've at least given him a puppuccino." She's like, "No, that is also not a good idea for anybody involved." <laughs> <laughs> That's an owner that knows their pet right there. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I never even knew that a puppuccino was a thing. To be honest. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, I, now I know that. what it is, but I I really didn't even know that that was uh that was a thing. We've done that once. Oh, Mister Jubba, <laughs> and he was a crackhead for the rest of it. Even though it's not caffeinated, still sugar. Straight. I mean. Sugar. <laughs> I take my word for it. Rest will tell you. Well, you know, I I wasn't exactly doubting that he was that kind of special because. Uh... Oh, so you missed all that? No, well, then I guess you're just missing out. I yeah, should have to watch it later on YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe oh, today. Speaking of which, that can be found over on uh, YouTube. At Actually, I don't have a I don't have a custom YouTube yet. I don't have enough oh. uh, I don't have enough followers yet. Oh, you heard it, boys and girls. Let's uh, let's make that happen. <laughs> the way I look less like a idiot next time I, I try to plug for him. Over at, uh, 1736. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I don't, I don't know. Uh, no. com has a shortcut to everywhere that I am. Uh, the Instagram that I check every couple of days, maybe-ish, kind of, not really. Um... <laughs> The, the, you know, my Twitter account, uh, the YouTube account, this here, if you're watching this later on YouTube. I don't, I don't know why I'm bothering. You're not going to see the backside of that. And I need more Blackstone. Although, now that Reyes is back, I can also bring up the fact that uh, Sarah apparently never intended to get a dog. She went to the pet shop uh, to for some other stuff, and they were doing a rescue thing, and so she just, you know, came home with them. I mean, that's not exactly word for word the way that worked out, but it's not far. Mm. I've heard that that is a familiar story. Mm-hmm.
that some people know well. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll give you a hard time later when you can pay attention to it. some more dispensers. I hate making dispensers. That was one of the things that I meant to do. Get a bunch of redstone components crafted up. So that way I can go ahead and just jump into that kind of stuff with this. You were about to say something about an automatic dispenser maker. <laughs> uh, no. You have no idea how much I wish an automatic dispenser maker was a thing, but no. Although... <laughs> Uh, the next time we do a coffee craft meeting, we probably ought to talk about adding one of the one of the custom recipes and whether or not that's outside of the bounds of what we're trying to do or not. I want that make a fresh bow thing in it or whatnot. Uh, basically, when you get to the crafting table, you put a dropper in the middle and then do the three sticks and the three string like you would a bow. So you're using the same materials, all told. It's just easier to stack and easier to work with. I don't see a problem with that. You can still make it the old way, so... For those who are gluttons for punishment. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, no. That's what I forgot to do. Buy a bunch of name tags and silence all these fools. Okay. Alright, I, I, I might get them back out of there and silence them. I also need eight name tags for the cows. Uh, I seem to recall name tags being a, a, a minor. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Um. If I were me, I would have put name tags. I thought you ran out and you needed to buy that, more. Yeah. That super expensive. Okay, that, yep, that's it. That's it right there. Uh, a, they are super expensive, and B, uh, yes, I did run out. I mean, I could let you keep looking for like another half hour if you want. No, because there, there's only a small. I'm I'm not green. I you know there's only a small handful of places that they would be. <laughs> it doesn't mean they couldn't <laughs> end up somewhere else. Hi, friend. Oh, did you get a trader? Uh, no, these guys have always been there. I thought you, you said, hey, friend, I thought you got a wandering trader. Oh, no. Yeah, that's like the second one this season. Oh, you got one? Who, me? No. Yeah. I'm in the nether. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I would, okay, if a wandering <laughs> trader came to visit me in the nether, I would buy his entire stock because... That man's got some dedication to his work. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that man deserves my <clears throat> emeralds. Don't, uh, don't, look, don't, don't think that I wouldn't be tempted to, uh, to, to find a data pack or something that allows wandering traders to spawn in the nether. Is it a wandering pigman? <laughs> uh, no, no. Ooh, can you make the, can you make the wandering trader look like a, uh, a piglin zombie, like you know, this is the afterlife, and he, uh, he still wants yeah. to sell stuff. If I did that, it would have to be an all or nothing. It wouldn't be a. Uh, it wouldn't be just in here or just in there. All that for only four. Uh, do I have some? There's gotta be a way to me? make it here or there and everywhere. Because how do they keep gas from spawning in the overworld? Uh, that's different. And if you really wanted to, you could get gas to spawn in the overworld. 
I don't know why you would want to, but it, it is a thing that can be done. You're scaring me. I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> I mean, hang on. I'll head over to your island and show you. Eh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Good. We're good. We're all good here. Got nothing to see here. We're working on your uh, solo impersonation. That's fine. We're fine. We're all. We're all. We're all fine here. How are you? <laughs> What's your operating number? Uh, it's never much for small talk. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm up to one, two, three, four, five stacks of nether brick. Uh, this is a slow operation. Uh, I don't want to hear about slow. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. The The name tags are 20 emeralds a pop. And I haven't taken time to really build up my uh, back stock of emeralds. And I don't think I'm going to get another round of trading out of these guys. I might have to wait until the next Minecraft day. <laughs> he trades a day, I think it is. At least of the same stuff. Oh, you guys are willing to go for another round. Alright. Sweet. One more. Ooh. One more? Come on. You know you want to. Huh? Huh? Fine. I'm like a vacuum salesman. What? <laughs> what? You want? Eh? Eh? No, that's the wandering trader. I try to make that guy as annoying as possible. Because most of the time he is. Most of the time I do not want a wandering trader. Because I'm usually in the middle of building redstone something or other. And uh, they get in the way. But right about now that I would love a wandering trader, you know, to sell a, sell me a stack of sand. Uh, <clears throat> It was all those wandering trader heads you collected last season. They know about you. Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> You're on the naughty list. They don't sell to you. I'm on the known offenders list. Oh, come on. Who did I miss? There we go. Silence, 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 silenced. There we go. We got us a, a herd of silent cows. Would it be a herd of silent cows? Yeah, I think it would be. Get those. Those. All right, I need to wait for another Minecraft day before I can trade with those guys, so... Onward and forward with this. Actually. Okay, good. Do I want to go ahead and do the wood frame? Maybe I should do the top in wood instead of uh, the polished blackstone. No, 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 no,
Back in the hole. Back in the hole. Ah, oh, you dirty rotten. Come on, you. Come on. There we go. All right. Uh, so that's going to be a problem. This is why you're supposed to figure these things out beforehand. It's fine. This is fine. that better. Yeah, we'll go with that. Alright. Onward and forward. Or at least onward. Let's get one of those just so we got something there. So that's the three by three. And there's the other pillar. Right? Three by two. Yeah. So what am I gonna do with all this extra space? I can do another spot for mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah, I can do another spot for mushrooms. One of the challenges should be giving me mushrooms, shouldn't it? No? Doesn't one of the challenges give you, uh... Once more, with a microphone. Uh, 
I hear you talking IRL. Hello? There we go. Okay. Anyway, I don't think any of the uh, challenges gives you a mushroom. I could have sworn there was. You get a donkey? Um. Yeah. Top Chef. Top Chef gives you two diamonds and a mushroom. Oh, cool. I'm nowhere close to doing that. <laughs> well, uh, you need a baked potato, bread, cake, cooked chicken, cooked cod, cooked salmon, tropical fish, cooked pork chop, cookie, golden apple, golden carrot, mushroom stew, pumpkin pie, cooked beef, melon, and a carrot. Twice over, because, you know, one mushroom's not enough, and you really need two. Those numbers will probably go up. Yeah, not probably. It'll go up. stone here. Oh, don't over jump it. Um, bother. Glowstone, a block, and then the dispenser. Because there's going to be a block there. bad. I need more, more, uh, more spruce and dark oak. Spruce and dark oak. Arr.
Okay. Yeah, in the original design that uh, that was in the test world for this particular device, um, underneath there is a redstone dot with an observer looking at it, pumping a redstone signal to that block, and the same on the other side. And then right there and right there are dispensers of lava. So you push, you put a button on this block, you push the button, the lava blades dispense uh, ostensibly just long enough to, uh, to, uh, to, to set them on fire and give you cooked pork chop and cooked beef and so on and so forth. Although, I just remember that there was a problem with, uh, with something getting overcooked. And it might have been the sheep, now that I think about it. Uh, in which case, that would have worked just fine for the pigs and the cows. I mean, who would have thought that mutton was that easy to overcook? Never mind, don't answer that. I'm pretty sure I know who would have told me that it was that easy to overcook mutton. I didn't want to hurt your feelings, so I was just going to be quiet. <laughs> it's okay. I can take it. You can't handle the truth. Oh, we're, we're not going there. <laughs> I mean, that was a good movie. Don't Don't get me wrong, but... That was a well-timed pop culture reference, and you know it. Nope. Oh. Hello, Beach Duck. How are you? Hello, Beach Duck. I'm making a, a spot for the pigs and the cows, and then the next one's going to be the mushrooms. something different this I'm not I'm not liking the way this is turning out this is the way we cook the nether 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 cook the nether are you cooking the nether now the nether right yeah Oh, the no uh, it sounded like you said cook the nether, and I was like, oh, we're, we're just straight up cooking the nether direct? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> oh, look, quest done. <laughs> um, Which challenge? No, I had three stacks of ancient debris, so. Oh. Oh, hush. I don't need a hush for it, I didn't say anything. Not my fault you don't go mining as often as you should. As I should, or as you do? Eh, yeah, well, you know, same thing. Uh, <laughs> no, not the same thing. <laughs> not the same thing at all. Well, it doesn't hurt I'm getting like three to five pieces every swipe, or every pass of farming I do. True. So now I'm going to build something in netherite. Oh, you, you're going to build netherite blocks now? Just to, just to really, really rub it in? Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you weren't rubbing it enough with all the raw ancient debris. You, you got to... That's not even that much. That's like... I, uh, seven... Yeah, seven on the front and eight pieces on three sides. That's not a lot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
You say that. I'm telling you, that is nothing compared to what I'm about to do to you. <laughs> well, <laughs> that might be something very different anyway. <laughs> All right, well, that gives it a little more shape. Like, if, if that little hut in the graveyard hurts your feelings, you, you just... We're going to need to get you some Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now I need to get the cows. Go oh. Kill a wither, and I'm gonna make a beacon out of netherite. <laughs> I I do want to try to get a beacon before the season's up. Good luck. I, I haven't a clue. Like I'm gonna. My plan so far is to go down to where my farm is, mm -hmm. build a giant block of the hardest substance I can come across, and I think that's going to end up being uh, cobblestone for the moment, <laughs> um, and build the wither in that box. Like, oh, that oh, box, oh. Like six deep all the way around. Well, you, you got access to the nether. Go trading for, for uh, some obsidian. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that. Like that. That is awesome, dude. Thank you for the gift sub. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome, Maximum. How are you doing today? Yeah, inc incendiaric, incendiaric. I hope I pronounced that right. I uh, just gave out a gift sub to Axonim, and that is awesome. Oh, I read that backwards. Yeah. <laughs> so, Eric, how are you doing today? Honestly, Honestly hello yeah. to both of you. Just, you know. well, I don't know if Axonim's on or not. I don't have the I don't have the list of who's who's in. I just see that there's five people watching. While I uh, slowly poke away at uh, at this, and since I got all the sheep silenced and all the cows silenced, the fact that the pigs are not is really driving me crazy. So let me uh, let me take my, the messiest inventory. Uh, let's be honest that that's just the way inventory management goes. Mo Yang, more I can has inventory, please. Nope. We we, we have all these extra blocks. Like like I remember back in the day when blackstone wasn't a thing. Actually, I, I think I vaguely remember when they added granite, andesite, and uh, diorite. Uh, I'm like I 90... The first season you played with us. Back before they were seasons and we yeah. did this. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I, that's what I was kind of trying to remember because I'm... I figured it was about that time. I just, I distinctly remember not having that, and then we started a new world, and it was there. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of neat that it was there. Yep. That's what it was. I mean, in addition to that inventory, I'd love some concrete slab stairs and walls. No, no, now you're asking too much. They're not going to watch our show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't that's, think anybody. I don't. I don't think anybody from Microsoft is watching anyway. But uh, that, that's the line. That's that's when their bots stop watching us. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> it's Microsoft. They're not going to watch us anyway. I don't know, you know. Depends on. Uh, they'll have the bots do it for them. That's depends on who you ask. <laughs> Although, Microsoft might be getting themselves into some trouble here soon anyway. They've, uh. In. Does that mean you guys have one more trade? Come on, one more trade. One more trade. I got the iron. No, okay. Um, 
Now, in Windows 11, they changed the way assigning a default browser works. Like, it's very reminiscent of the bad old days. Like, very reminiscent of the bad old days. When it used to be stupidly hard to change defaults, and then I want to say it was Windows 7 where that got changed. And it got slightly less bad. Well, are they still grumpy that more people use uh, Chrome than Edge? Uh, I don't. I don't know if that is at the root of it, but it is. There's definitely some of that going on where they're just jelly. No, that's just jelly. No, that's not jelly. I, I got a jelly ore in here somewhere. I have one. That's just jelly. <laughs> uh, I was giving a friend of mine a hard time. I, I know that's hard to believe. Uh, yeah. Me earlier at <laughs> the start of this episode? I mean, what? <laughs> oh, okay, that too. Um, no, one of, the, one of the guitars that came into the shop uh, was wrapped up in a pillowcase. Um, and did it need a nap? I, 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 was, mean, jo- I was joking with him that, yeah, he's, <laughs> that he was just jealous of the uh, totally styling gig bag this guy had. <laughs> <laughs> uh, except this, uh, th- this is like, th- this is an even guitar-shaped object territory. The, this is, this is uh, like, Bad. this is why would you do this to your kid? Don't you want them to play? Like, I mean, if you don't want them to play, then fine. You know, say, son, daughter, whichever. Uh, I don't want you to play. Thanks, Beach Duck. Um, you noticed. You know, just just tell them you don't want them to play and, and be upfront about it and everybody will be okay. But, I mean, this thing... This thing has all the structural integrity of balsa wood. Um, like so when, how how does that even hold strings? Uh, it doesn't. That's part of why it's in the shop. They they want to put some really nice uh, silk and bronze strings, which are a low tension acoustic string. That you know are are they're nice strings. They're recommended for a lot of things. This ain't one of them, but they're recommended for a lot of things. And uh, uh yeah, like like there, there's a wave going on in the top where where like you look around the sound hole and one side's kind of cupped up like this and the other side's kind of bent down like this and where the bridge that's not secured to the surface is it, there's a nice little concave divot um, the the frets uh, I'll put air quotes around frets uh, the frets <laughs> are uh, uh, well I'd call them sad, but that would be an insult to sad frets everywhere. Okay, I'm up to 12 netherite bricks. Blocks. Oh, hush. (laughs) Making progress, boys. Making progress. Alright, uh... Come on, guys. I'm not sure I want to do this, but come on. Oh, that's everybody. Okay. One, two. Come on, somebody not silenced. Come on out. You know you want to. Three. Uh, I think I needed to give myself a little more room.
Come on, guys. Somebody different. There we go. I got two more of you somewhere. Who's not silenced? Come on. Somebody's not silenced. You're silenced. You're silenced. You're silenced. I got two more, you jokers. <sighs> so anyway, yeah, Microsoft changed the way that um, default brow setting a default browser works, and it is. Uh, it has been described by various tech professionals as actively user user hostile. Huh. Okay. And uh just that that difficult to use. To the point that even Thorat, who's normally uh very against various European style antitrust measures, is like uh Maybe the EU should be looking into this. Because this is shades of the bad old Microsoft. Huh. Yeah. I was kind of sad to hear that too. Because Firefox had actually worked or uh, figured out a workaround and was setting that up for for their Windows 11 browser. So if you installed Firefox and you select it as the default browser, it would do a bunch of stuff in the background to make sure that what you set as the default stayed the default. Um, and somebody built an extension to that use the, the actual edge protocols to actually I don't need that more than too high do I somebody used the actual edge protocols to um, intercept URL requests because what's happening is, is it, let's say you set Chrome as the default browser you go through all the steps for Chrome to be the default browser you, you it, there are still things in Windows 11 that will open up an edge. Uh, okay. And, and that's the part that's got a lot of people upset. Like, uh, Edge is a wonderful browser. I use it all the time now. Uh, I recommend it to people all the time now. However, comma, if you said, I would like something else as my default browser, that something else should be your default browser. You know, it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be, uh, yeah, I want something else to be the default and we're going to open up your taskbar search and edge anyway, you know, and it's just one of, one of those type deals where it, it's, it shouldn't, yeah. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. A Apple's having a, a fun time with their own problems. Because their their user hostility towards the the whole right to repair type stuff is starting to uh, catch them up too. All right, come on, guys. Who's not silenced? So close. I think that's I all. I am thirty. Netherick, nether nether brick blocks away from having everything I need for the nether fortress 
Did I just silence one of them twice? I think I did. Ah. <laughs> Alright, as long as you're not too annoying, I'll let it go. Hello? Hello? Oh, I, it sounded like somebody was getting on a microphone. Oh, no, no, I was moving my stand. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my, my entire desk got slightly rearranged today, so... Yeah. Yeah, you had your own adventures and updates. Yeah, slightly. Um... Advancement to 21H1 or whatever. Yeah. The, the newest little... 21H2 or 21... Yeah, it should have been 21H2. Maybe it was two. I, I don't know. Whichever one came out and I had to do today. Uh, yeah, it was... Uh, it was interesting. It, like, disabled a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's just weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I was actually wondering if it was one of those things where a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of updates caused um, caused those problems. Oh, where uh, a bunch of driver updates finally hit, and that's why those last few reboots worked. Maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm hoping that's all that it was because that was it was so weird. Like the first time it rebooted after the initial update, like the only keys on my keyboard that worked were the tab, the P. But the P did a space bar. It didn't actually do a P. <laughs> there were oh. a couple of other ones. Like the I, the I actually put an I in. Um, so I couldn't actually log in <laughs> to my system. Uh, I couldn't. Yeah, that, 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 sounds like a, that sounds like a weird driver missing. And it probably, upped, it probably installed it in the background while you're doing your reboots. So the last yeah. one was the one that finally, <laughs> finally got it working. <laughs> yes, seriously, that was, and then the, the monitor issue was the monitor had gotten, like, all my, all, I, like, I have, like, a dozen, no, uh, the other monitor, because I went to look at it to figure out how it was set up to try and mimic that mm -hmm. to the other one that's not my primary, and it's set to extend desktop. Yeah. So, I was like, okay, so I went over to that one, which wasn't even being registered for the first few times I actually got on, uh was there but it wasn't active so i went into it and it didn't have any data like it didn't show me a 125 by whatever you know jar jargon like 800 <laughs> by 400 or whatever this, okay I, I i don't know what it is um but it didn't show me any of that but it had a single box that was modifiable and it was extend uh extend desktop or copy one of the other screens so i was like okay extend uh desktop and it clicked on <laughs> it filled in all the other boxes back to the way it was hmm. i was like okay i'm just gonna take the win and uh move right along you know that's that's a w in my book <laughs> <laughs> as long as it works right that's that's right <laughs> i had had nearly uh more than a pot of coffee I had uh, an incident so I didn't actually get the whole pot of coffee but you know I definitely had some coffee <laughs> that stinks when you don't even get the, the full pot of coffee no no my, my pants got the part that I didn't, I didn't oh. get so. mm. yeah yeah so, sad day it was a sad day I don't want to talk about it <laughs> Two blocks, <laughs> two blocks away, and I've got this this challenge done. Woo! Nice. I just gotta go put it all down on the floor. You know. Which one are you working on? Uh, the Nether Fortress. Ah, yeah, that, that's that, that's on my list. <laughs> <laughs> and it's done. I just gotta go put it down in the world. Assuming my math is right. 
512 blocks is eight stacks, if I'm not mistaken. I'm hoping you're that silenced. math is correct. You're silenced. Silenced. Someone correct me now before I cry later if I'm, <laughs> if I'm wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh, where's the fun in that? Yeah, no, don't do not do that to me. Don't do that to me. Uh, oh, I think that's everybody silenced. All right, back in the hole, y'all. No, 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 no. Have fun. Back in the hole. This little piggy went into the hole. This little piggy did too. Next little piggy's going. And I believe that's you. <laughs> That's not creepy whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't take the time to name them all, like, you know, uh, Spare Rib and... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to name you, you Spare that. Rib, and I'm going to name you Loin, and I'm going to name you <laughs> Chops. Your bacon, your Canadian bacon. Hey. <laughs> I hear that enough during the day. <laughs> that, oh, that's right. That's right. You you play with a couple of Canadian guys, right? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, put on their stream or play with them. They they love that. Good folks, don't yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. They, that one. That right there. What? <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> A really good weapon, don't you know? Ah! <sighs> All right. Everybody's quiet, right? Right? There we go. That's as it should be. <laughs> now we got to get all the cows in here. Let's try this a different way. Oh. Let's also... Uh... That's right, with only eight pigs up there, I'm only going to get four little guys every, uh, every go around. Oh well, that's not why. I, uh, in, uh, in a normal world where the animal capacity isn't capped, I would actually stuff that just short of cramming, so that way when I do what I just did, you'd get as many of the little guys as possible. And same for the cows, and same for everything else. And then between between all that and the uh, and the other stuff, you, you can get a a nice pile of cooked. I was about to say confectionaries, but that's not right. I think I'm going to just try to do these guys one or two at a time. You guys can actually make that easy.
Come on, guys. Two by two. Gonna name you Ribs. Gonna name you Steak. I should name all cheese steak, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, and you're gonna be fajita. Nope, nope. Into the hole. There we go. There. Come on. Come on. Get in the hole. Just do that. What would be another set of good names for some cows? Some good ironic names for cows. Porterhouse? <laughs> Porterhouse. Uh, sirloin. The uh, Barbecue Tech Show that launched on a, as a Daily Tech News Show production or DTNS production, or I'm not sure how that exactly works, other than the initial episode came from the DTNS. Oh. <laughs> oh, should I name one Milk and Cookies? Huh. That could work. Hey, where did, you, where did your buddy go? Um, hi friend. What are you doing down there? Oh yeah, definitely got a name one milkshake. <laughs> Do you start calling one of them cheese? Fro frosty? Why would you call the, why would you call the, the cow Frosty? Moyang. We have cows. We have breading. Can we get fried cheese curds? Oh my goodness. That should totally like top off your saturation right there. Like cheese curds? Cheese curds. Fried cheese. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. It'll top off your saturation for about three minutes until you have to go like do something about it. <laughs> I don't have that problem with cheese curds. Uh, they're some of the greasiest little things. <laughs> well, that also depends on where you're getting it from, too. I mean... It, <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, you know, most of the cheese fries cheese curds I've had come from Culver's, which that's kind of, you know, it's a Wisconsin chain. I, I don't know why there is one near where we lived before. Well, yeah, no, I know. I still don't know why there is one in all of the state, but. Uh, there's another one. There? Is it closer? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, what are you. Get off the stairs! I'm awfully excited about this, though. What? What about some fried <laughs> cheese curds from Culver's? Why wouldn't I be excited? Come on. Up the stairs, guys. This is not hard. The first two guys got this right. Why can't you get it right? There we go. There's one. There's two. There should only be, what, two left? Do you have a Minden guy? Um, let me check and see if he's one of the ones that survived the, the great disappearing. <laughs> disappearing. <laughs> well, I mean, it wasn't half of them, so I can't call it the snap. Uh, yes, I have a Minden guy. 
Uh, how many emeralds is that? 36. I will hand you 36 emeralds. <laughs> and a book. Oh, I thought you were donating the book. My bad. <laughs> All right, you are the last two. Sweet. Oh, guys, come on. Are you two the dumbest of the bunch? Guys, what? what? Why? Of course, I said a lot of why for one of the other guitar. I lost an entire afternoon because of this stupid guitar repair. Well, the guitar repair isn't stupid. Uh, the, the floating bridge system is stupid. Um, and horrible and frustrating. And I spent hours trying to look and figure out how to block off this tremolo. Uh, and every video referenced a newer version of the design that has a very handy screw dedicated to this purpose. None of the videos had the model that I was actually working on. Hello, Mr. Mending. You just need the one mending? Yeah, I fat fingered my. Oh. Uh, Did you drop uh, something that really needed mending? Well, yeah. Where'd you go? I have to go back to my island. You can't give it to me there. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I threw my uh, netherite pick, so I had to make it. <laughs> But, I mean, hey, you know, we got another one. Yay. <laughs> Wee. There you go. Wait. Thank you. I don't want to mess up the <laughs> landscaping, but I think I want to build it right Wait. here. Why did I warp down here? Oh, is there another, another wandering trader, or is that the one that I... Oh, it's you. I need to silence you before too long. More name tags. Yeah, and I'll probably get back to this river project uh, Friday. Depends on. I'm depend surprised you're not just using regular water like the rest of us. Oh, I am using regular regular water on the top. So it's going to be oh, a layer okay. of regular water and then fog the rest of the way down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were just doing the glass only, and I was like, "No, oh, okay. no, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put water on top of that, so you'll have the motion of the surface water, but you'll also have you'll you'll have the fog effect to to make it look deeper than it is." Okay. Off eight stacks and another got Okay. Um That's fixed back up. Alright. So I'll get some beef out of that, I'll get some pork out of that. We can make tacos. Actually, tacos would sound good. Does <laughs> is there everything you need to make tacos in the game? Um, we have bread, we have beef, or pork, or, or lamb. pork, or lamb, or fish. No, not fish. What? No fish. I had some blackened mahi tacos those things 
Whew. That was a good taco. We could make some duck tacos. But we need duck. Let's say we don't have duck. That'd be a chicken taco. <laughs> Nobody needs chicken tacos in their life. Uh, I, I'm sorry. The, the, those two... Uh, there, no, there is no tofu taco. I'm sorry. That that is a thing that doesn't exist. Yeah, no ducks in the game yet. I mean, if Mo Yang's looking to add another mob, which they seem to be for some reason, they they could they could add uh, they could add ducks. Be more useful <laughs> than the polar bear. You befriend <laughs> them and they follow you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Without leads. <laughs> hey, and that could be the mob that fights everything. Oh, no, no. That would be a goose. I don't know, man. I've seen some ducks lately. They're not quite as friendly as you think. Oh, I never said they were friendly. <laughs> uh, hmm. All right, so there's going to be a pillar. Be a one, two, three. It's going to go there. <clears throat> Glowstone will go there. I am done. I mean, I guess if I wanted to, I could probably get another one of these going for some sheep in case I want mutton. But I also don't want to hit the uh, a mincy, grindy, choppy thing. We have steak. We have steak, and I have a very sharp sword. I should totally be able to cut that up into strips. I just don't know what... Uh, we got the cows, so that means we could get cheese. Uh, what do you put on for the greens, though? That's the problem. Or, or, or are we going to really kill the illusion, and you just put vines on you? <laughs> Hey, man, you eat what you can get your hands on. I've seen I, how low that hunger bar gets on Steve. He'll, he'll eat anything. <laughs> Spider eyes, whatever that other thing is, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd like to say you're wrong, but you're not exactly wrong. All right. Uh, the beef is growing. That's where the beef is. Sadly, there there is no veal in this game. <laughs> no, 
No. What, what's what's the equivalent for uh, for cows? No, that is veal. All right. That should actually be the last dispenser. I have the last bucket of water. Well, I kind of figured our master chef would be able to give me an answer. over the void count, I'm sorry. Seven. Twelve. Don't you do that. Eighteen. I don't, don't, don't. One, two, three, four. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why did my phone try to... Okay, my phone started yelling at me about something to unlock the device, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> what, what part? Of, what part of what I was doing made you think I wanted to unlock the device? You know, sometimes I worry that AI is going to take over the world, and then stuff like that happens, and I feel a little bit safer. <laughs> What? I mean, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Besides, if computers ever get too bad, we can always put them in a committee. That'll stop them. I think you might be a little prejudiced on that opinion. Ah, uh, man, I have sat on some committees. Exactly. Ah, uh, I have sat on some committees. I've slept on a few. <laughs> yeah, I need to get some placeholders for a bunch of that stuff, too. Uh, oh, no more glowstone. Put away. I just realized I need some more plate up top there. Mushrooms will one day go in there. Someday your mushroom will come in. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, and I need the chickens. Man, that still leaves a lot of space left over. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure something else out. Meals. Uh, no, transportation is going to be up top. Where I'm actually going to be able to go from island to island. Because somebody didn't build a base. Or a foundation. Or, you know, I don't know. Uh, a platform. That you could travel to. Yeah, well, you know.
No, no, they're not grown up yet. Okay. That gives me a little bit of pork chop, although... I can't remember if pork chop was one of the meats that if you eat it raw, you end up getting, uh, you end up getting sick. Uh, I don't think that's in the game anymore. No? I thought it was. Uh, I don't think that's been in the game for a while, but you used to be able to not eat any of the raw food. Yeah, because I, I remember chicken eating or... raw chicken had a small percentage chance of getting you sick. Uh, I don't know. Did they ever remove that? Because I thought they did. I don't. I don't think so. Well, go ahead and try. Tell, tell me how it works out. Nope. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I might have to build another one of these for uh, for sheep. You stare. Pillar one. Two, three, pillar, stair. Yeah, and that's, that's going to leave a lot of room left over. But I mean, I wouldn't mind some mutton. And I still need a space for the chickens. Um, this means I'm going to have to get two of these guys out of here. Or I can go find the challenge that gives me two more sheep spawn eggs. There you go. Which ones give me sheep? I think it was the farmer or the wool collector. Yeah, the wool collector. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Never mind. Yeah. They're sheared the second they eat the grass. So one of these guys will probably eat soon. And it's automatic. See? It's the way the wool farm works. And, and since this requires wool of all the colors, let's just, you know, uh, you know what, let me, uh, I need some place to temporarily dump <laughs> a bunch of stuff, because, uh... Yes, he did. Yeah, I did. Because you don't have an automatic farm. If you had had an automatic farm, I wouldn't have mocked you for them being naked. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You do not have an automatic farm. Oh, look at that. Two more sheep. <laughs> That's not the same thing. <laughs> that is not the... No. No, that's not how that works. That's not how any of this works. some barrels. Actually, that does remind me. I probably ought to check in on those uh, shears and see see how they're holding up. I might need to grab a barrel full of iron and leave it back, you know, backstage behind there. I still haven't figured out where I'm going to... Um, where I'm going to put access to get backstage now that I think about it. Backstage. Why, why am I saying backstage? I, I don't... I don't know. Don't... Alright. They're doing good. They're doing good. No. These, these should all be fine. Well, let me check the guys that I filled in first. Now, what I need to do is I started to work on an auto shutoff system. And I, I'm having trouble getting the redstone right. 
I want to make sure that when that hopper starts to back up, it automatically powers all these dispensers so it won't keep trying to shear the sheep. Uh, and I don't end up with a wool overflow problem. That That is my goal, at least. We'll, we'll see how well that works. Uh, something, something, best laid plans of mice and men. Hi guys, make more sheep. All right, so I'm gonna make one more of those, which means I need to go grab all those blocks. All right, we'll put the flowers and whatnot away, and then because I'm gonna need more blackstone again, and I'm gonna need a dispenser. bucket of water. A dispenser, a bucket of water. I'm going to need to do go do some trading for a bunch of emeralds. The red goes there. That's this one? Yeah. Aha! Aha! I need to start trading for some more blackstone. Which means I'm going to have to get that farm running again and start getting some more uh, some more gold into the system so I can get more. Oh. Oh, and I need more uh, light gray stained glass. How much more light stain, light gray stained glass do I need? So pigs, cows, mushroom, and for the sheep I need three, four, five, seven. All right. Distractions, distractions, distractions everywhere. I need to put a proper staircase on this. I need... Oh! Uh, you weren't supposed to suffocate and die. That's what was supposed to happen. Weird. Huh. I don't remember that being a problem. No. Oh, I need... I need a stone cutter. I've only got a stack of these floating around somewhere. Stairs... Bricks. Go cook some more real quick. I need to get the uh I really need 
need to figure out where I'm going to put that blast chamber so I can get the cobble generator moved and build the basalt generator. I need to find a simplified design because I, I am not, I am not building one like I did last season. A, it's going to take way too many hoppers, and B, that that was that was a lot more work than uh, than I thought it would be. And yeah, I, I ain't doing that much work towards the end of the season again. He says. Hmm. You say that now. We'll, we'll give it another week or two and see what mega project you take on. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Talking about? <laughs> I mean, as it is, the river is a mega project. Let, let's let, let, like. That thing, I, I don't, I don't know how these guys manage projects like that as fast as they do. Cause, yeah, that that's a. Uh, how did I get fifty-four carpet? And where do those bats come from? Yeah. I thought I I thought I had everything lit up. Where are the where are the bats? Go away. Where are the bats? Is it here? No, because that's a bottom slab. Is it up top? No, because that's lit up. Hmm. That's not the one. No, that's not what I meant to do. Well, that didn't sound good. Am I missing a critter that I can farm this way? I mean, I guess you could technically do llamas this way, but they don't give you any food. And why would you want a llama farm anyway? They are not tasty. Mm -hmm. What? You, you find the idea of a llama farm funny? I do. I mean, I don't, I don't know. It, is a llama better with ketchup or something? Uh, jerky. Jerky? Some llama jerky? That's right. Is that when you start the llama drama? That's exactly how that works, but yeah, yeah, we can go with that. Really, really. I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? Oh, I need two spruce trapdoors. I should probably put a craft. No, do I need a crafting bench in there? No, I don't need a crafting bench in there. Uh, I might need a smoker in there though. Yeah, smoker could work. Yep, 
Maybe that's what I need to do. Just put a full, fully stocked, like, cooking kitchen in here somewhere. That's right. I need a glowstone. That's what I'm forgetting. Cause I need to. I need to keep more of this lit up. I apparently need to go through there with the the light, <laughs> the light checker, light level checker, so that way I can figure out why I'm getting bats again. I thought I got rid of all the bats. There are bats in the belfry because my island is a little dim. <laughs> oh, come on. I left that one wide open. I'm not going to take your bait, good sir. <laughs> oh, it may have been... Only a fool goes for that low hanging a fruit. And? Okay. So far, so good. And I need one more button. using the trap doors there for two reasons. Number one, that trap door keeps the adult animals from sliding out either side, but it's just enough height to allow the baby animals to slide out and into the chute. Uh, and two, if I ever decide that I need to increase the population of animals in the breeding chamber, I could put a lever on top of either one of these blocks, power them, so those drop, and that'll keep the babies from escaping until I get a, uh, a fully stocked area. And I think that's it. Oh, since, uh, <laughs> since the polar bear got voted the most useless mob in all of Minecraft. Ray's Works put together a polar bear farm. Provide. <laughs> it provides polar bears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I asked. I I, you asked? <laughs> I, I asked for that. 
It provides polar bears. I, I think you get a raw card when you kill a polar bear. You have a chance to get a card when you kill polar bears. That's right. That's, yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not even a reliable like you get some card. All I'm saying is there's a chance. gonna have to check my hopper options because I might need to I may need to find some uh, some areas to start thinning down hoppers no 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 wrong one wrong one wrong one wrong one oh sleepy time All right, 51 out of 64 animals. I'm in bed. Yep. There we go. Last thing I need is a lightning strike to hit some random... Uh, now, with my luck, it'll hit the two sheep that I got to start, <laughs> start over there. chicken coop and I think if I had I think if I had the spare hoppers I, I'd uh, go ahead and set that up as a uh, cooked chicken farm Actually, that does. Mm. I might could do that anyway. How many hoppers did I have left? Uh, forty out of a max of fifty. Okay. Okay. I, I, all right. Let's um. Go ahead and because we're going to put a column there, we'll set up this one as the uh, we'll set this side up as the egg farm. Sadly, there's no way to get chickens to stop uh, laying eggs. There we go. Um. Oh, never mind. You can't see that through there. Let me get the let me get the egg farm going and get some chickens going in there. Do how do I want to do this? Sandy. I need more 
more stairs to. So let me go get another dispenser. Let me get a comparator, a repeater, a sticky piston. Two observers. I mean, I guess that could work. Oh, well, I'm here. I need, uh, I need lumber. Dark oak. Mm. I could stand to grow some more dark oak. <laughs> I guess that's what I could do while I wait for the uh, for the sheep to grow. the other way. Now, one more. I'll even start making sense in a minute, too. It'll be amazing. wrong anyway. Bother. Oh, bother. Hmm. That's, uh, wow. That's pretty impressive. Just from, uh, what, uh, the two and a half hours we've been on?
wonder if I can make it even more efficient. Pretty sure I can. needed over there. Um, we'll get that right there. For symmetry's sake, we'll put something like that. Actually, I'll remove that even though there's no good reason to. anyway. Never asked, do you need more chickens? I'm about to have a bunch of eggs I can toss that way. I need another trapdoor. I need another trapdoor that should... Because I want to be able to access that... Uh, that means that every time that fires, that's gonna... Never mind. Because the thought was to put a trapdoor right here so I'd have easy access to the dispenser, but I just realized that that means that every time that clock fires, it's gonna flap the trapdoor open and closed, and yeah, I ain't having that. Um... There we go. Now. Now for the fun part. Do I try to lead all those chickens over here and get them into the hole? Or do I just... Uh, decrease the surplus population and try to get my 16 chickens this way <laughs> via eggs? <laughs> I think I might just, uh... Oh, come on. <laughs> Let me up there so I can up the stuff uh yeah and all right i'll finish taking all that down that gives me one more dispenser to play with which is good i guess i could have done it that way and just put buttons on there that i could spam no no that's not really an answer let me not eat while holding a stack of eggs then i'll get all all the chickens i didn't want going to take to get enough chickens. Two. Oh. You 
guys are going to be noisy. Hang on. I think we're going to have to figure a different way around this. And... And I want to put a carpet over the hopper anyway. while I'm waiting. I'm not done building, but I don't need... need the stone brick stairs. I don't need the soul fire lanterns. I don't think I need any more polished black stone walls. slabs. Okay. That gives me a little more inventory to work with. Let me go sleepy sleepy. those off the hot bar because I don't want to accidentally trigger those and I need oh I need 16 chickens all right where's the challenge animal farm yeah I need 16 chickens so I'm gonna need 14 more name tags that might not be happening during the stream because it is 9 o'clock. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you all knowing exactly what the next little bit's going to be. It's going to be back and forth with um, the three caballeros here. I wonder if I should name them uh, the three musketeers. What about it, guys? Who's both of us? The armorer, the toolsmith, or the weaponsmith? No? Does that mean that I should name the zombie D'Artagnan? And how does the... punchy. That's usually a sign that uh, is definitely nearing the time to... Uh, oh, hello. You wish to trade? Come on. Where's my XP? This is going to be in my next little while, because uh, that's only three, four more, yeah, four more, <laughs> four more name tags. 
Oh, round and round we go. So I'm going to name tag these guys. I'll get 16 chickens in that little holding chamber right there. And then I'll just need to figure out where to put the rest of those. Because I, I was getting ready to say that what I what I really needed was a... Um, it was some sort of to set up a separate chicken cooker that I just started manually picking up the eggs and dropping them into the chicken cooker. Uh, but I realized that this makes a, a chicken farm too. Um, I just need to keep feeding chickens in there until they start entity cramming. Although I don't think I got enough of an ammo cap for that now, now that it comes to it. Um, hmm. Alright, but first things first. Oh, come on. <laughs> Fine. I'll, uh, I'll work on that later. Start moving them in one at a time for... Oh, yeah, no. Then I won't be able to do the silence them if I use that uh, entity cram them. Hmm. All right, then... Uh, let's do this. Let, let's just go ahead and... I wish I hadn't have done that. All right. Can we get 16 chickens before, before I call it a night? Maybe. All right, let's see. Did we get the achievement? Island challenges, animal farm. Uh, you're short four chickens. Four chickens. Hang on. <laughs> I got this. Hang on. <laughs> All right, I, I will have this challenge finished and then I'll wrap it up. Yeah, and I, hopefully I can fill up the animal cap. With chickens and sheep and things, and that way I don't have to work. Oh, I'm going to need fish. I'll fish for the fish. Uh... Ooh, do guardians count as animals or hostile mobs when the when skyblock does its tallying they count as hostile don't they because I was thinking I, I I really want to just you know jam up the the animal cap with all the stuff for the farms and things. All right, challenges, animal farm, ta-da! <laughs> Congratulations. Animal farm is done, and I got a new block challenge for Wither Hunter, but I need to do Nether Fortress first. Okay. What else? Okay. I think I might start working towards Top Chef for the next little bit. Ooh, nice. Speaking of the Nether Fortress challenge. <laughs> nice. Okay. I'm going to have to spend some quality time in the Nether digging up some uh, Nether Rack. Is that, uh, that takes a fair bit, if I recall correctly, doesn't it? 
Uh, yeah. Eight stacks plus several miscellaneous things. Hmm. What's really weird is I thought that gave you portal frames and I didn't get any. Uh, Nether Fortress? No, nope, never mind. No, it just gives you a Wither Skull, a Blaze Rod, and a Chance of Diamonds. But you need the three Wither Skulls to do the Wither Hunter, I think. Which should give you... I already you... have one. Huh? I already had one from actually fighting Withers. I think that opened up my... Uh... Yeah, that should open up... Um, some of the other lock challenges. It opened up which oh, or Wither Hunter, it looks like. <laughs> I'm going to trade you 10 Wither Skeleton Skulls <laughs> for a 5% chance for another star. I mean... I like those odds better than fighting the wither. <laughs> let, let me get a let me let me get a nice nether farm going, and uh, and then we'll 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 go from there. <laughs> <laughs> come on, ah, come on, come on! I'm wrapping up. There we go. There we look. You even get the iron armor that I picked up. There we go. Look at the horses. Hi, guys. I might, uh... I might have to thin out that cluster of chickens. And just get, like, one or two silenced ones and do a slow, slow fill for the, the chicken eggs. Cause that <laughs> I guess there's a couple of chickens in there huh? <laughs> holy smokes I just realized this uh-huh okay I thought the nether fortress is gonna give me the three portal in frames yep. no that's the prereq for Wither Hunter. Mm -hmm. You need Maestro and Wither Hunter to unlock Beaconator. Mm -hmm. And that is the one that gives you the last three of the, you know, the four sets of three to get to the nether, to the end. Mm. Beaconator, like I said, requires you to have done Maestro and Wither Hunter. Wither Hunter is turning into Wither Skeleton Skulls. Not too horrible. Maestro. Yeah, you got to collect one of each. Uh, one of each. One of every music disc mm -hmm. plus the jukebox, which uh, at the grand scale of things isn't that bad a deal. Yeah, but I got given a jukebox for one of the other challenges. I just don't remember which one. Well, like I said, that that's negligible compared to the fact you need all those CDs. Uh, yeah, <laughs> all those CDs. Yeah. Could call him finals. Oh, really <laughs> hey, Beast Lord! <laughs> we were just about to raid you, Beast. I, I was, I was just getting ready to raid you, because <laughs> I, I, I'm getting ready to wrap it up. I, I've been working on expanding the animal farm over here, so I started decorating around the sheep farm that I did Friday. Got a, uh, got, got a little, little pig farm going. Little cow farm. This space is reserved for mushrooms. This is reserved for some sheep for uh, to make some mutton. I got a couple of chickens in there, you know. <laughs> ah, that's okay. That's okay. Let me. Uh, I wonder what I'm gonna do with all that wool now, too. The one that had to have your giganto farm. <laughs> That's not a gigantic farm. Like, like, wait, just, just, just wait till. Uh... Yeah, don't, don't worry. I, I'll make sure. Uh, I'll make sure you see the mushroom by the time I get one. I, I'm that challenge. Actually, you know what? I'm curious. 
Do I do I have everything to do that challenge like right <laughs> now? On that note, I'm gonna bow out. Hey, Bees Lord, talk to you later, man. All right. Uh, because I think I might actually have enough to to make that happen. Let me put this stuff away real quick. Spruce. And dark oak in the slab. All right. So to get a mushroom, I need top chef. So I need baked potato, bread. Although, I think I actually have... There's a baked potato. I think I need a carrot too, right? Uh, right. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Baked potato, bread, cake. What is the recipe for cake? All right, so I need three wheat, two sugar, an egg, and three buckets of milk. Right, this actually got kind of easier. Let's get these and ingots. I need three of those. I need... Two sugar, an egg. I should still have some in my soon to be decommissioned farm. I'm going to tear this down a little bit later. And I need three more wheat. And I think I need a potato, so I'll grab that while I go over to the farm. Pretty sure there's a regular potato in there too somewhere. Um, that's good. Three wheat. There's my three buckets of milk. Look at that. A cake. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. I think I'm going to try to crank out one more challenge before I call it a night. Uh, all right, baked potato, bread, cake. I need cooked chicken, cooked cod, cooked salmon. Uh, I think I just cooked up a chicken. Do I have any cod and salmon? That might be the problem. I know I'm short a lot of the fish. Oh, okay. Not a problem. There, there's a, one of those. One of those. One of those. And I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a cooked chicken. I'm probably gonna need a cooked mutton, pork chop, and steak. All right. So while those are cooking. <laughs> Yeah, I'd go for some more fish and chips right about now. Mm, fish and chips. Uh, let's see. What else do I need while that's cooking? Uh, I'm going to need a gold. 
golden apple and a golden carrot. There's a golden carrot. I thought I had a golden apple. Oh, I think that's in my potion box. My last golden apple. <laughs> um, all right. Golden apple, a mushroom stew, pumpkin pie. Oh, I'm going to need melon. Mushroom stew, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is a sugar, an egg, and a pumpkin. So I'm going to need a pumpkin. going to need a melon. We're just rolling right in. I'm going to go need to grab more. You know, I'll just grab the stack of eggs. I'm sure something else is going to require it. Actually, now I just want to actually add. <laughs> I want to add fish and chips. You got the bread. You got the egg. You got the fish. You got the potatoes. All right. Uh, oh, I need sugar for the pumpkin pie. You know, let me just grab that too. Alright, so we're going to make pumpkin pie. Challenge. Alright, so I got the baked potato, the bread, the cake, the cooked chicken, the cooked cod, the cooked salmon, the tropical fish, a cooked pork chop. Oh, I need a cookie. Uh, if I were me, where would I... There. Oh, I already had pumpkin pie. I didn't need to make another pumpkin pie. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes? Uh, cookie, golden apple, golden carrot. Oh, mushroom stew. Mushroom stew. Um, where did I leave? There's the bowl. And I, th mm, I might be running a little low on the mushrooms. Yeah, I am running a little low on the mushrooms. I'll have to do something about that too. I think that's. Uh, I think that's it. Short one melon. Oh, not a melon slice. A whole actual melon. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I got one of those too. <laughs> no, 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 not return home. I wanted the one next to it. There we go. All right. You got the top chef. Two diamonds. A cooked mutton for some reason. All right, now here, here's the mushroom spawn egg. So I'm going to go over to my little platform over here. And you're ready for this beast lord. Here is your... Mushroom. Bam. See? It's a cow with the mushrooms. <laughs> uh, it does have the my it, it does <laughs> it does have the Minecraft cow face. <laughs> uh, there's another yeah, there's another one that's the the brown variant. So it is brown like the brown mushrooms and has little brown mushrooms on top of it. That's the mushroom. Uh, if I could get a if I get a trident or uh, happen to get lucky enough for him to be struck by lightning, he'll turn into one of the brown mushrooms too. But you, you got to get him. You, you, he's got to get struck by lightning. No, it's a cow that has mushrooms growing on it. That, that, that is pretty much the, the Minecraft cow face, but uh, instead of being brown with white spots, it's red with white spots and has the, uh, the red mushroom on top. <laughs> and if a brown one gets struck by lightning, it turns into a red one. And if a red one gets struck by lightning, it turns into a brown one.
Uh, I'll have to do some admin shenanigans to, to show one one of these days. But yeah, yeah. Uh, what logic? What logic? We're, we're on a magical mushroom island. What is this logic of which you speak? <laughs> I mean, I, I have blocks floating, suspended in air, just, you know, because. <laughs> yeah, I may, I may have to put a, uh, all right, if I get rid of that carpet and put a half slab there. I can put another dispenser off to the side with a little lava blade and get cooked chicken after uh, cooking those guys with lava. That's a thought, too. Two farms in one shot. I just need to make sure that uh, I... No, there is no way to... Oh, uh, okay. All right. Just thinking. Thinking things through. And one of the other things that I got to figure out is on the back side of the sheep farm. I need... I need to figure out a way so that when this hopper gets full, meaning the, the wool collection system's backed up, that comparator powers this block and turns off all these dispensers. So it doesn't keep producing wool that it can't pick up and collect. Um, that's that's the part now. But um, yeah, that's for another day. So uh, I still got to figure out what I'm going to fill that space with, though. Because I was trying to make this uh, an animal farm hall, and so I got my you know wool farm over on that side, a sheep of each color. I've got my pig farm, my cow farm, mushrooms will go there once I get more than the one. Uh, sheep will go in there for mutton purposes. I got my chickens here, and then I got this big open space that I got to figure out what I'm going to do with. Um, I might, I might take, uh, I might take that mini crop farm that I've been meaning to move and move it here, but it, it only takes a space that's three wide. So that still leaves a bunch of extra space, and I was really kind of hoping to plop it at the end of the hallway here. Uh, so I'll do that. I'll do that another day. That that burns through a lot of bone meal, and I need to move this bone meal farm somewhere else anyway, but not too far from here because this is where this is where I end up getting a lot of the material for that all that and over there. Uh, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll find a home for that back at the central, at the central island instead. That might be better. And, oh, and I've got the, I've got all the materials. I just need to put it together. I think in this corner here, I'm going to put together a snow farm. Uh, you, you can make snow golems in Minecraft. You take two snow blocks and put a carved pumpkin on top and it makes a snow golem. And everywhere they walk, they leave a little path of snow. Uh, so you say, if you set up the farm correctly, you can just keep harvesting the snow that they create on the block that you're harvesting. It's awesome. Uh, so that's, that'll, probably go, that'll probably go here in this little corner. Uh, I don't know about Kerfunken. But that that might be a that might be a Friday project because I, I need to double check the the way the design's got to go. I know they're a little fiddly, and uh, as much as I'd like to get some sort of automated collection and sorting system, I don't think that's going to happen with the hopper limit. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll get the I'll get the snow farm there. Oh, oh, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, it's a snow golem. You put a jack-o'-lantern on top of two snow blocks. So I'll take two of these snow blocks. I'll carve a pumpkin and make a snow golem. Uh, no, I don't have any pumpkin in there, do I? Do I even 
didn't have any other carved pumpkins. I thought I had some carved pumpkins. Oh, because it would probably be in the helmet box. Yep. So you, you'll basically stack on the ground two of those snow blocks and a carved pumpkin, and it makes a snow golem. It, it is. Uh, it is something special. Actually, let me go ahead and just leave a barrel right there with the materials I need for that project, and I'll, I'll keep gathering that. So that'll go there. Need to figure out the rest of there. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just fill in a, a cooker array. Like, uh, one of these boxes. No? Yeah. You can craft smokers. They use the same amount of fuel as the furnaces, but they cook the, they cook food items faster. So maybe, maybe I'll just, uh, put a couple of smokers there and, uh, grab some, grab some carpet from there every time I need, <laughs> every time I need to top off the fuel. Um, yes. So, in a normal Minecraft world, sheep will randomly spawn in certain areas of the world. Uh, cows will randomly spawn in certain areas of the world. The pigs will randomly spawn in certain areas of the world. Uh, same with chickens. Uh, mushrooms will only spawn on mushroom islands. So, there are islands covered in that purplish podzol. Uh, it's called mycelium. And it has giant mushroom trees, and that's where you'll find the mushrooms. The trick, though, is the game will only spawn so many. So, if the number of available mobs... Uh, and mob is just a general term for any critter, hostile, neutral, or friendly. Uh, so sheep are mobs, mushrooms are mobs, the zombie is a mob, um, any entity like that. So the animal type mobs um, will only spawn if the number in the world is below a certain amount. Which means once you start doing farms like this you decrease the number of naturally spawning stuff. So a giant chicken farm will effectively shut off chicken spawning elsewhere in the world for other people on the server. A giant sheep farm will do the same. So if you're on a friendly server like ours, that's not a big deal. Because you, you can always go, uh, hey, I need... Uh, I need two chickens. And somebody will usually give you two chickens. Um, but uh, on some of the other multiplayer servers, it can be a problem where you're looking for sheep. But because five people have massive wool farms where they got like eight of each color, uh, good luck finding sheep because... Uh, they're not gonna they're not gonna pop up randomly in the world since you know somebody took up the entire mob cap with their uh, with their sheep farm so I might I might work those in somewhere around here too I'll think about that but still that that's what I set out to get done and mission accomplished I even finished that challenge. Which is good too. I'm going to finish it a second time so I can get a second mushroom. And if you feed two mushrooms meat, they, they end up loving each other very much and make another baby mushroom that will grow up into another one. And so you can expand the population. Uh, so if you've hit the natural spawn cap, but you need more sheep, you can feed two sheep wheat. The, they'll... they'll feel really funny and, and go make a little baby sheep um, and, and you can keep doing that well past the world cap in a no in a normal Minecraft world 
because we're playing on Skyblock, where part of the challenge is working within constraints, each island has a limit to the number of animals they can have. Um, so right now, I've got 65 of the max 64. I have, oh, because I used a spawn egg to get the last one. Okay, so that means that right now, even if I start trying to breed these guys up, I'm not getting any more. And the culprit is probably clucking right next to me, too, because I, I really didn't want that many chickens. Um, matter of fact, let's, let's just go ahead and... Uh... Oh! Oh, no. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> Problem solved. There we go. Yeah, thir 37 chicken. Uh, that's way more than I wanted there. I, I just wanted like one or two so I can get some eggs. That's it. There we go. I got my two chickens. So when they grow up, they'll start randomly laying eggs and that'll collect the eggs and that's all I need. So if I need to make more pumpkin pie or cake or whatever, I've got a regular source of eggs. <laughs> uh, we've got a data pack that gives a percentage chance that a mob's going to drop their head. So you, you can have little mob heads like that. It's kind of fun. It can be. So you kill enough sheep and eventually, yeah, every time you kill a sheep, there's a random percentage. Every time you kill a mushroom, there's a random percentage. Although some of them are lower than others. <laughs> ask, ask Arcadius the next time he's on how many tries it took to get uh, the mushroom heads. Yeah, but you got some llama heads and wandering trader heads and bat heads. Uh... I think I got some zombie heads in here. No, I got the zombified piglin heads. Uh, what else I got? I know I got some more. Oh, the slime head, which I used for the block. <laughs> yeah, the, oh, and the phantom head, which I used for that one, which I think is... No, that's just where the phantom membranes went. My own organization. Eventually, I'll finish labeling them so it's like that and tells me what's actually in there. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. Although, now that I got uh, 89 levels, that's the 89 down in the... Why am I pointing down here? Uh, nope. In the center <laughs> over the green bar where you see 89, that those are your number of levels. If you're going to rename an item, it takes one level for every, every item you're going to rename. And uh, that adds up quick. Not gonna lie, that adds up quick. My protein box. <laughs> all right, now, now I'm just, uh, all right. So, this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. I'm going to say, normally I'd rate Beast Lord, but he he already rated me, so thank you for that. I much appreciate that. Um, I have not tried Ark. It has been recommended to me, and uh, I might have to I might have to give that a try. I don't know. I, I'm having trouble keeping up with the games that I have. And then I see guys like at Popat posting that, uh, you know, no, I'm not going to buy Skyrim again. I already have four versions of Skyrim. Well, okay, maybe I'm going to buy Skyrim again, but I'm not going to build the same archer again. Okay, well, maybe I am going to go for an archery build again, but... <laughs> <laughs> and I feel that. I, I, I totally, I totally feel that. <laughs> I mean, I only bought the PC version once and a second version appeared in Steam. And I just, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so it looks like Grimly is on. He is an awesome guy. He's got software and game development going right now. And I don't, I think, I think he's learning to, I think he's actually learning to program. Uh, 
So we're going to go give him a raid. Tell him hello. He's a great guy and well worth the follow. Yeah, if you like Beast Lord, if you like what we're doing here, you're going to like what he's doing there. He plays a lot of games. And uh, since he's no longer active duty Marine, th this is what he does uh, for a lot of the day. And he plays a wide variety of games. This is the channel that I saw Alt F4 on and a bunch of other good fun stuff too. So let's go give him a raid and uh, have fun. I'll see you next time.